All right, everyone, welcome to spoiler season. I'm so, 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 so excited. Uh, we're going to do the spoiler season videos a little different than I see a lot of people doing. We're going to look at cards, uh, but we're not going to just look at the specific cards. We're going to look at more of the mechanics of the cards to kind of get a more complete version. So I'm going to wait till the next day. Uh, I'm going to let everybody get their spoilers out and uh, not, not try to take up uh, community content and let them share their stuff. And then the next day, kind of 12 hours later, I'm going to do a video and just look through all the cards. Um, we're not going to just look through the cards specifically. I'm actually going to break them down because I think it helps it make it a little bit more sense in my mind. So um, the the six cards, is it six cards? Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cards I've seen spoiled today all have a very easy way to um, to line up. So let's start with um, blood debt. The blood debt is the biggest thing. Uh, one of the biggest things, there's blood debt and soul that I see as the two biggest things. Um, and I'm going to start off by saying... The only cards that I see that are blood debt are dark shadowed cards. And the only cards I see that are soul are light cards. So I, I think that blood debt is going to be what sh what um, what soul is to shadow and soul will be what blood debt is to light. They'll kind of balance each other. That will be the balance it's either blood debt or soul. Um, so that's the first thing. So let's talk about blood debt first. So the, the card that spoiled this was, um, let's see, this one was from... Um, uh, Fab DB, the Torrent of Tempo. You may play Torrent of Tempo from your banished zone, which is huge, right? Being able to play something from your banished zone is kind of a big deal. Uh, that's kind of unique for card games. You draw a card. Okay, but I want to say this does not have go again. So that's an interesting thing that it does not have go again because you can't draw a card and then continue your turn unless you have like a time snap potion or something that gives it go again. Uh, but blood debt. So here's the big thing. At the beginning of your end phase, if Toma Torment is in your banished zone, you lose one life. So you can keep... Maybe it's that you keep playing. Uh, it probably goes from your banished zone to your graveyard again, honestly. But then there is some graveyard recursion stuff that we're seeing. So uh, I don't know. So blood debt, that's what it does, though. That's what we're going to highlight on blood debt because that's what we're going to focus on in this video is what is blood debt, what is soul, and then we're going to also talk about the tokens and maybe something else. Oh, the yeah, maybe something else. We'll see how far we get. Uh, so that is what blood debt is. So let's continue kind of following that trail of uh, what is blood debt. That gets us to Eclipse. Uh, which is a legendary chain specialization. Chain must be a new hero. Uh, a, a, we are assuming, or it would obviously be the shadow. So you play Eclipse only if you've played six or more cards with blood debt this turn. What? <laughs> like six cards is crazy until you realize that maybe this blood debt thing, it just sits in the back of your, in your uh, thing. You, know, you, you sit these cards in your banished zone right? If you can play this from your banish zone, it has blood debt. You sit a bunch of cards in your in your banish zone, and then you have a huge, massive turn. I think that's what we'll see. So Eclipse, so, uh, so if you've played six or more cards with blood debt this turn, if you have, you may play Eclipse from your banish zone. So my guess is that this shadow stuff is going to be, I mean, it makes sense, shadow, banishing, whatever. You're going to play a ton of stuff from that banish zone. I love it. Like, I love that they've taken a zone that's usually, like, non-existent in TCG and made it like something that you can like completely access it'll be super interesting all right so when you play that again with blood debt like really important uh you create an ursh Ur ursher the soul reaper token so what is that right like oh my gosh like i i kind of called tokens I, I said in my other video my my spoil my my pre my uh what is it like months ago in my um in my speculation video, I thought tokens, because there were so many tokens, were going to have a huge deal. So now we have a named token, which, it, it, we, I mean, it could be like Talishar the Lost Princes, right? Like, um, something like that, where it's like a weapon. Uh, it could be some sort of, like, I think the interesting thing here is that it says soul. So we're going to get into talking about soul soon, but this obviously is pinning the light and the dark. Um but anyway, chain speculation. I'm really excited to see who chain is. Hopefully, we see that uh, today. Uh, I know that there's there's some people who are teasing that they have hero spoilers. So, um, okay, that's the shout entrance. It's also a legendary, which is interesting to have a legendary instant. Uh, I just wanted to highlight that that's pretty cool too. Um, I don't really care about that stuff. I'm more interested in how it's going to play. Okay, let's go to Doomsday. Uh, Doomsday, legendary Levia specialization, Levia specialization. So another uh, potential, yeah, another hero. Uh, again, play Doomsday only if you have six or more cards with blood debt in your banish zone. So this whole thing is going to be both of these heroes, both of the, the whole shadow mechanic seems to be putting cards with blood debt into your banish zone. 
Uh, and then in, in these both cases, both legendaries, you get to create a token. And this one is Blas, Blasmo, Blasmo Pet, the Soul Harvester. So two Soul Harvesters, right? Like we had Blasmo Pet, the Soul Har- Harvester, and... Oh, Soul Reaper. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Soul Harvester? And so what if these are two things that you like set up? Like one turn you are harvesting their soul, the next one you're reaping their soul. Oh, that could be cool. Anyway, Doomsday is like the coolest artwork too. That's why I made it the background. Um again, you are doing things from your from your banished zone. Uh okay, this is a great great instance to talk about Aetherize. Aetherize negates counter instant and that card got bought out as a result of one, two, and yeah, two big instants and then also Eclipse Existence. We'll talk about that real quick. Uh this one doesn't really apply to my video like the soul and blood debt. Um but whenever you attack your control as a light hero this turn, you may banish a card from their soul. If they do, they lose one. If you have more life than opposing turn, you may banish an action card from your graveyard. Oh, so this is perfect. Like this is how you're gonna get the cards from your graveyard to your banish zone to get the blood debt. If you have more life than an opposing light hero, you may banish an action card from your graveyard. So the one thing I think is a little concerning is that how are we going to play this light versus dark? Are the uh, how's this card going to work when you're playing against a dark hero and you are a dark hero? It doesn't seem like it's going to be very applicable. So my guess is that this is really one of those cards that's only going to be used in draft and in um, sealed, it, maybe as a sideboard card. I don't know how con- like constructed works as much, but um, okay. This brings us to uh, to light here this turn. You may banish a card from their soul. Okay, so here's my my hot take. Um, if if um if blood debt is this is not a hot take other people have been talking about this if blood debt is your banish zone okay which we kind of know it is I'm guessing that soul is going to go under your hero and that you will have an opportunity to use your cards that you've pitched as like your resources to put pitch them instead of under your deck that you get them again they go under your soul under your hero um that you never see the card again maybe um. As an additional, so this is a light action. This is Celestial Cataclysm. As an additional cost to play it, you banish three cards from your hero's soul. So I don't know. Maybe there's a way to like utilize your soul as a resource, and your soul is underneath your hero. That makes sense to me. Um, it could be like a hidden thing that you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, and, and so this one, you banish three cards from your hero's soul, and then you can play. This is like a Enlightened Strike, right? But with just go again, and it's seven. It's like a arguably better enlightened strike um which is awesome it also pitches for two which is awesome because enlightened strike only pitches for one this card's gonna be great um light action attack so this can be again like a light action this must be like a generic and i remember in my video i talked a lot about generic cards like uh, I, I really speculated that generic cards were going to be massive and so what i think now is we're going to see two different sides of generic cards light you know, it just says light action. It doesn't say anything else. It's just a light generic action, right? And we'll see dark generic actions. Um, and that will be, maybe your hero can only have one of those two, or maybe they do uh, specify which classes can have light or dark. But um, a better, uh, in my mind, and I might be wrong, uh, you, I, nobody ever uses, in my mind, the you strike to draw a card. I never see that. They use it to for five and go again, right? Uh, and you have to drop a card from your hand. Well, this, if you've already got cards in your banish zone, you don't have to lose your hand, right? Or in your soul, you, you don't have to lose your hand. You just, you know, play it. And then it's still attacking for seven with go again. So it, this is a better, this is going to be the chase card in the set in terms of uh, light cards. Uh, this is a better enlightened strike. This does not make enlightened strike worse. It just means that you can have both this and enlightened strike in your deck. And then of course the dark heroes could still run enlightened strike. Um, because it is not specific to light. So, all right, let's move on to another card with light. This is the Tome of Divinity. Draw two cards. If a card has been put into your hero's soul this turn, instead draw three cards. And so this is where I think you start seeing, instead of pitching to your pitch zone, you could pitch to your soul. You would not get those cards back at the end of the game. or at the you know They wouldn't go under your deck, so you wouldn't be able to keep playing with them. But instead, you get benefits. So in this case, your card is better. You are going to play faster. You're going to be able to draw three cards instead of two. That four cost is very, very high, though. Um, but an, another light instant, again, like things that can get negated by Aetherize. 
Um, so awesome stuff. I really think soul is going to be under your hero. That's my opinion. I think that your, uh, your, you know, we already know that your, um, your blood debt goes into the, into your banish zone. I think the, the, the heroes of the dark side, uh, will be moving things a lot from their, from their, uh, graveyard to their banish zone in order to use that blood debt to generate resources and, uh, that kind of thing. Whereas the heroes of light will be using their pitches their resources to put into their soul and then utilize that as a resource mechanic a mechanism uh to boost their cards so that's my opinion on those two things all right i wanted to talk a little bit about um tokens i think uh we will see i, I kind of said this in my my speculation video a long time ago i think we will see a lot of tokens and uh you know just with these two tokens here uh ursher the soul reaper and uh blasmo pet the soul harvester it just kind of looks like uh at least the 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 shadow side will have a decent number of just like tokens or additional things uh this could be in my mind it, it could very easily be an equipment right it could very easily be a weapon like maybe this is one of those legendary weapons that you know you can't you can't just start the game out with it's kind of like an end game effect right where you you have to work hard to get it um that could be really cool uh, and, and I think we've seen that with Talishar the Lost Prince, like named weapons could be really cool. And in the lore, it could get really, really spicy. Uh, but I also think this could be like, you know, it could just be a, a token. At, it's definitely not like a hero, right? Like it's definitely a token. It could be some other form of thing on the battlefield, like an aura, right? Like we don't know what, what else they're going to do with auras. Um, so uh, very, very speculative there. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, I think we'll see more of those. I think we'll see the light ones maybe today in the spoilers. Um, the other thing that a lot of people are talking about, I'm, I'm trying to do mostly my stuff and not just steal people's ideas, uh, but there are four new heroes on the website. Um, you know, four new heroes. So we are getting four new heroes. Uh, and and people were doing uh, a lot of breakdowns of the classes, like in the in the blacked out uh, card pool. And there are, seems to be uh, classes that are more supported than others. Um, I don't know. With the whole light and dark thing, it, it seems like that's a little speculative in terms of like it could go differently. They could organize the thing different. But um, Aetherize got bought out. I wanted to mention that. It's sweet. I'm super excited. I can't wait for today. I'm not sleeping at all. Uh, I'm just like thinking about this stuff all the time. Uh, let me know what your favorite card is so far. My favorite art is definitely Doomsday. Uh, I think my favorite card is probably going to be Celestial Cataclysm, although I doubt that I will play light very often because the, the blood debt thing seems really cool, but that card just seems like it's going to be so good. I can't wait to rip those. I can't wait to get that in foil in the playmat. I can't wait for the playmat. I can't wait. <laughs> uh yeah i mean it's gonna be amazing guys i hope you have a great day enjoy your monarch spoilers if you're in if you're in my discord we have um the, we have this whole setup we'll put all the cards here and then you guys have been chatting like crazy look at this people have been chatting like crazy in the discord about stuff uh it's super fun to watch you guys it looks like there's another card here uh we'll save that uh for for tomorrow's video as we recap um anyway i hope you guys all have a great day Remember to be kind to the people around you and enjoy your Monarch spoiler season. We're coming out on Saturday, baby. I can't wait to share my card with you guys. It's going to be awesome. All right. Hope you guys have a great day.